Hello, today we will discuss a scenario to visualize previous month to date sales and current month to date sales. Let's connect to the sample superstore data source. Drag order date to rows and sales to text. We are interested in the monthly sales. Let's expand the order date year to get the month value. From the drop down, select month where the month and year values are shown together. We can see that we have data available from 2020 to 2023. Current year is 2023. So I will be applying a filter on order date year for easier understanding of the data. For our requirement, we need previous month to date sales and current month to date sales. That means we are interested in the data of July 2023 and August 2023. Let's check how can we get the current month to date sales. Current month is August 2023. So I have applied filter on August 2023 for easier understanding of the data. Let's get today's date. In tab view, today function gives us the current date. To get the current month value, use date trunk function on today and use date function to get the date value. We can see that the current date is August 10 of 2023. When we say current month to date, we will be requiring the data from beginning of August 2023 to the current date. That is from August 1st of 2023 to August 10 of 2023. Here, for current month to date calculation, we need to consider the current month and current date. So, let's create a calculated field to capture the same. Click the drop down and select create calculated field. Let's name it as current MTD. Now, for current month to date calculation, Month of order date should be same as the current year current month and order date should be less than or equal to the current date. To display the sales values, let's use if condition. If the records match the condition, then display the sales value. Click OK. We can see that for current MTD field, the sales values are displayed from August 1st to August 10. We have successfully created a calculated field to capture the current month to date sales. Let's check how can we capture the previous month to date sales. Current month is August 2023, so the previous month is July 2023. So I have applied filter on July 2023 for easier understanding of the data. When we say previous month to date, we will be requiring the data from beginning of July 2023 to current day of previous month. 
that is from July 1st of 2023 to July 10 of 2023. Here, for previous month to date calculation, we need to consider the previous month of current year and the current date of previous month. How can we get the current date of previous month? We see that there is a month gap difference between July 2023 and August 2023. So, let's use date add function and add minus one month to current date to get previous month date. Then use date function to get the date value. Now, we have got the previous month date that is July 10 of 2023. To get the previous month value, use date trunk function on previous month date and use date function to get the date value. Let's create a calculated field using the same. Click the drop down and select create calculated field. Let's name it as previous MTD. Now for previous month to date calculation, order date month should be same as the previous month and order date should be less than or equal to the current date of previous month. To display the sales values, let's use if condition. If the records are matching the condition, then display the sales values. Click OK. We can see that for previous MTD field, the sales values are displayed from July 1st to July 10. We have successfully created a calculated field to capture the previous month to date sales. Let's go to the first sheet. Add the calculated fields to the table. We can see that the current month to date and previous month to date sales are captured in the table. Let's visualize the current MTD and previous MTD category sales using bar chart. Select bar from the marks area, drag category to columns and previous MTD field to rows. Drag current MTD field onto Y axis next to previous MTD field. Drag measured names to color. Drag measure values to label to display the values. Bar chart to display current MTD and previous MTD category sales is ready. Hope this was useful. Thank you.